Today is day 16. So today is day 16 and we're going to talk about the first female saxophonist on this list and that is the Chilean born saxophonist Melissa Aldana. Now I got Charlie in partly because uh, I wanted to make sure I got everything in focus unlike yesterday. Well, I think it's focusing on his face now, not mine. But Melissa is actually the only person on this list who is younger than I am, which is quite strange for me because I've always kind of been the younger one when you look up to these people like Coltrane and Rollins, Brecker, Joe Levan, all those people. Now, Melissa was born in Chile. Her father is a professional saxophone player. And her father actually got to the semi-final of the Thelonious Monk competition in 1991, which Melissa won in 2012, I think. I'll have to go around and double check that. I first became aware of Melissa through Smalls, through Smalls Live and the Jazz Club there, but she studied with Joe Lovano, George Coleman, and you could definitely hear their influences in the music that she plays. Hi, Nikki. This is one of those divisions of labour jobs that wives tend to forget that men do, husbands do. Um, she's sorting the cars out in freezing cold temperatures. Just topping up um, oil, water and all those kind of things. I'm going to have to go and get some oil for my car now because I've just put it all into Katie's car. These Toyota Agos though are great little runarounds. I've got to say that. they. This is Katie's second one of these and they are really good little, little runaround cars. Not too expensive to run. Dirt cheap to tax relatively happy with. What a good idea, Honda. Very good. I don't know, is it? I don't know if most of it's falling out or not. Now, I'm not sure what it says about my beer drinking habits, but when your local pub sends you a Christmas card, maybe you visit them a little bit too often. <laughs> or maybe they've missed me and they need me to come back. Who knows? party we're going to tonight it literally borders the back of the pub and I was joking with Richard whose birthday it is that he needs to create a little uh, door in his shed so he can walk in one side walk straight into the pub the other side anyway let's crack on we're talking about Melissa Aldana so Melissa was born in Chile and she comes from a very prominent musical family her father Marcus Aldana is a very fine tenor saxophone player and it's said that Melissa started the saxophone when she was just six years old now the story goes that she got into the tenor after first hearing Sonny Rollins and her first tenor saxophone was a Selma Marks Six. I mean, if you're going to get a Selma Mark Six as your first saxophone, you better have it pretty good. First tenor saxophone, anyway, you better be pretty good. And winning the Monk competition is no easy feat. I mean, knowing some of the judges on that, Mr. Marsalis being one of them, how much you have to have your um, chops together in order to impress him, she did really, really well. So there's no kind of tokenism here in my mind. Melissa is a very, very fine saxophone player. And I challenge you, if you were doing a blind test, I think you'd be there going, yeah, this person... Uh, very much a George Coleman, Joe Lovano kind of disciple here. Hopefully, if you've listened to the Joe Lovano and jo George Coleman playlists, you will hear those elements of those guys' influence upon Melissa's playing. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you'll share it around. I hope you go and hear Melissa live and give her some support. She hasn't appeared in the UK yet, as far as I'm aware, but she has uh, and does frequently travel throughout the States and uh, Europe, South America. So, hopefully, get to check her out soon. I need to now... Work out this arrangement for this carol that you know I was talking about last week in this vlog about I ended up whether I was going to do my version or what Wayne Shorter did. Well, I did my version last week for the radio broadcast for tomorrow, doing a very, very special jazz, jazz, I can't speak today, it's so cold, doing a very special jazz carols in Westminster and I need to um, get this piece that Wayne Shorter did, this 12th century French carol, I need to get this down quickly before we go out to this party. Excuse the mess. I still haven't finished. I still haven't finished tidying yet. This is a little trick, actually. 
I do quite a lot. If I've got to work something out on piano and then pick up an instrument or a saxophone afterwards, I'll often put the reed in my mouth and be working on it with the reed. Just hope I don't swallow while I'm working. So I've checked all the music for, let's move that light over there. I've checked all the music for, the lights are everywhere in this room when I'm this way around, that's why I normally film the other way around. Anyway, checked all the music for tomorrow night. I'm kind of 99% certain everything's good. I'm just now doing some pre-editing for my students project because the deadline for them is tomorrow. So everyone should have, I've got most of my students have now put them in. So what I'm doing now is just lining them all up, making sure I've got everybody's and then sending reminders out so that people who haven't sent it in will get it done tomorrow. It's just going to be a big job. Today's vlog, I'll put the sax down. I and oh. Katie and I are off out to a party this evening, so I don't think there'll be any much cause to put anything else onto tonight. Today's vlog, even check out Melissa's playlist, check her out if she's appearing anywhere near you. Tomorrow, which will be your today when you're watching this, if you can, get on my Facebook page. If I'm able to, I'll be streaming the jazz carols from Westminster. It'll be well worth watching, I promise. And uh, make sure you check out yesterday's vlog here. This is what I was up to this time last year. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.